Hello students, in this video we are going to study about Indian Ocean, the relief and its strategic importance. So being a citizen of India, we must have all the knowledge about Indian Ocean, why Indian Ocean is named as Indian Ocean. So all these things we are going to study in this video. So let us start with the Indian Ocean and its relief along with the strategic importance. So this is lesson number 7 of 11 standard students for science and arts stream geography subject. So where is Indian Ocean exactly located? So here we can see that Indian Ocean is located at this point below our country India. So this is only the ocean which is named by a country's name. So we know that there are different different oceans like Pacific Ocean, Atlantic Ocean, Southern Ocean, Arctic Ocean. So all these oceans are not named by any of the country. But Indian Ocean is named by the country named India. So this is only the ocean which is named as Indian Ocean. So Indian Ocean is the third largest ocean of the world. So the first largest ocean is Pacific Ocean, the second is Atlantic Ocean and the third is your Indian Ocean. So let us study something more in detail. So Indian Ocean. The Indian Ocean is the third largest ocean in the world after Pacific and Atlantic respectively. Means your Pacific Ocean stands first, Atlantic Ocean stands second and Indian Ocean stands third in the world. It is only the ocean in the world which is named after a particular country that is India. About 20% of the total oceanic area is occupied by Indian Ocean. So India, Indian Ocean occupies 20% of the whole total surface area which is occupied by all the oceans. A part of Indian Ocean is located in the southern hemisphere. Indian Ocean spreads between Africa in the west, Asia in the north and east and Australia in east and southern ocean in the south. So we know that the extent of India in the west it is between Africa in the north it is between Asia and Australia in the east and southern ocean is in the south. So unlike Pacific and Atlantic Ocean, the Indian Ocean does not extend towards the northward direction to the Arctic Ocean. So because of this situation, there is a complete blockage of Indian Ocean towards the north. So we can see here that Indian Ocean is completely blocked towards the north side. Okay, so because of that, there is a, a complete blockage towards the north side for your Indian Ocean. So because of this what happens? The, this type of arrangement has made a monsoon climate to your Indian continent. So your Asian continent or this part has uh, there is a monsoon type of climate which is developed because of the blockage which is created for your Indian Ocean. Now we will see about the area wise extents of the ocean. So your ocean, so the first number is Pacific Ocean. So this is the area in square kilometers. Next is your Atlantic Ocean and the area covered by it in square kilometers. After that we have Indian Ocean along with the area covered with it in square kilometers. And then comes your Southern Ocean and Arctic Ocean. So this is how is the coverage of your oceans along with their areas in square kilometers. Now we will study about the bottom and relief of Indian Ocean. The floor of Indian Ocean exhibits complex and varied features like continental shelf, mid-oceanic ridge, ocean basins, ocean deeps and islands etc. As we all know that our ocean floor consists of continental shelf, continental slope, 
mid oceanic ridges ocean abyssal plains deep trenches islands so all these are the landforms which we see inside our oceanic floor so these features are also found inside the indian ocean so these features are formed by tectonic volcanic and dendrational processes so we have already studied that uh, even the earthquake or the volcanoes they occur inside the ocean because of the tectonic plate movement at your ocean floor there are a uh, there are some of the changes in the landforms which are seen inside the indian ocean or other oceans also these processes appro, uh, operate in the same manner as like that on the continents so as we are aware uh, that on continents also uh, earthquake occurs or volcanic eruptions they occur so in the same manner the there is an occurrence of earthquake tectonic movement of the plates or volcanoes which occur inside your oceanic floor the average depth of indian ocean is 4000 meters so this is the average depth which we can see inside the indian ocean it also has few marginal seas so here is your indian ocean and it has different different seas which are nearby or close to it so before starting your oceanic structure we'll start first with the continental shelf so the first thing which comes is your continental shelf so this is the portion of continent submerged under the oceanic water we have already studied what is continental shelf in the chapter ocean flows so whichever portion of the continent which is submerged inside the water which which is under the water is called as continental shelf it is normally occupied by different gulfs seas bays and straits there is a wide range of variations in the continental shelves of indian ocean quite extensive shelves are found along the indian ocean so basically there are so many gulfs seas bays which you see uh, at the borders so these uh, continental shelves are covered by them and you can see that there is a big coastal line around the indian uh around the india okay as it is a peninsula uh country it is covered by water from three sides so because of that you can see that india has a vast coastal line the eastern coast of africa and madagascar record relatively narrow width of continental shelf along the indonesia coast and it is very narrow to 160 kilometers so you can see here that uh below uh, near the Africa continent you can see that Madagascar is an island so uh, there is a distance of coast near about 160 kilometers the continental shelves are very wide in the west side of india whereas they are narrow along the eastern side so you can see that continental shelf is widest in the west and it is narrow at your east coast so continental shelf are veneered with deposits brought down by terrestrial agents of erosions so we all know that even the sea waves the running water the rivers which meet the sea all of these are the agents which carry is the proce uh, the process of erosion the process of transportation and the process of deposition so all these things are done and they are deposited at the continental shelf some of the sedimentary deposits received over thousands of years as they remain deposited for a longer time sedimentary rocks are formed and some of them are potential source of fossil fuels as we know that because of deposition depositing depositing large amount of sediments they get gathered on a single place and then a sedimentary rock is found, formed because of intense pressure which is created on it now the next is your mid oceanic ridge so mid oceanic ridge 
so this is how it is created inside your oceanic floor okay so mid oceanic ridge are submerged mountains so the mountains which are present on the ocean floor and which is totally under water it is submerged under the water so, so these are called as mid oceanic ridge so they uh, they separate deep portions of sea ocean flows the indian ocean also has mid oceanic ridge called mid indian oceanic ridge so the oceanic ridge which is present inside your india or uh, indian ocean is called as mid indian oceanic ridge it originates from gulf of aden near the peninsula of somali further it extends magatskara and it's divided into two branches one branch diverts towards the southwest and extends to the prince edward island it is known as southwest indian ocean so one is directed towards the south and uh, the second is extended towards the southeast up to amsterdam and st paul's island so this is how the uh, extents are divided of the oceanic ridge next is 90 east ridge so 90 east ridge is mid indian oceanic ridge which has many parallel ridges so these are all the parallel ridges which are found here so this ridge is not continuous due to many fractures zone in it so as these ridges they are not continuous okay they have so many so many uh, cracks in it fractures in it so because of that they are named as 90 east ridge such as owen fracture zone amster fracture zone so all the fractures or small small parts of that ridges are named by different different fracture zones in the west of india in the indian ocean lies the chagos plateau which extends up to the mid indian oceanic ridge there are many islands in this part of indian ocean such as lakshadweep maldives dagio gracia etc in the eastern of the indian ocean there is a long north south extending range called as 90 east ridge it originates from the west of andaman and nicobar island and extends southward up to the eastern parts of amsterdam and south pole islands so this is all about 90 east ridge so basically 90 east ridge is a type of oceanic ridge which is divided into so many cracks and so many ruptures each of the ruptures are having its own names and they are basically seen inside the indian ocean they are extended out uh, towards the uh bay of bengal also and there are so many islands inside the indian oceans so the islands like lakshadweep maldives dago gracia all of them are the part of indian ocean now we'll see some of the islands which are present in indian ocean so here you can see maldives here you can see dago gracia here you can see mauritius here you can see magatskar so these are all the islands which are present in indian ocean so in this section we'll consider mostly the deep sea islands and not the coastal islands so the most deepest sea islands we'll be considering so the islands which are near to the coast so that islands will not be considered okay so besides the large islands like australia magatskar and sri lanka there are a large number of islands are located in the indian ocean so we all know that sri lanka is also an island which is close to india okay then magatskar is also one of the island which is very big island as compared to other small islands which is present here so these are the famous islands which we know we are also aware of australia so even australia comes in the indian ocean so these are the famous islands which we know apart from these islands there are other islands which are present in indian ocean so islands are grouped into four parts first is arabian sea 
second is along the bay of bengal so arabian seas islands 